Hello, hello. Hello, darling. Just a little bit of sound healing. Hello. Sending some healing energy your way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, hopefully this week too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. All right. healing energy we needed that sound healing yes hello everyone happy monday how is everyone doing today i hope you all are good how many of you were feeling that full moon and virgo energy yes 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 okay all right, so we're going to get started right away. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, as you guys know, before I start, I always do a little meditation, right? And the meditation um, today was, was pretty intense. Yes, that moon energy. Hello, Aries on fire. Uh, the message I got during the meditation was, just a lot of mind and 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 crown chakra energy a lot of um possibly overthinking for many of you guys you can be in this energy of overthinking um but spirit wanted you guys to know do not let those thoughts get out of control try to curve them keep them in check um work through them organize those thoughts right because it the, the thoughts were feeling kind of heavy during the meditation they were kind of heavy um spirit is asking those of you who are experiencing that energy at the moment to uh try some meditation try some contemplation have quiet time um and align your energy okay um, if you guys need any tips, <laughs> yes, overthinking everything, girl, I know, I know. If you guys need any tips, any tips when it comes to your crown chakra or anything like that, you can definitely hit me up in my DM. Oh my God, the back of my head has been aching for hours today. Yes, I've been dealing with crown chakra stuff for weeks. <laughs> so I feel you. I feel you, Celestine. Hi, Jenny. All right. So keep in mind, guys, okay? Keep in mind um, that these readings are general, right? You guys already know this. For those who are watching for the first time, this reading is general. Um, energy is fluid. Some of the things may resonate. Some may not. Um, the cards tell you what you need to know, and that's not always what you want to know. You guys know. You know. You know the deal with these readings. Whatever spirit says. Hi, Jazzy. <laughs> Hi, Trow. Hi, Empress Mars. Whatever spirit says is what goes. Please, 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 if you are interested in having a personal reading, you can book at www.thedivine3.com. The link is in the bio. Okay? All right. And let's get started. Where are my Aries at? Yes. I love my fire signs. Ah, I love you guys. All right, starting off with Aries. Let's see what's happening for you this week. Hi, Narissa. Mwah, I miss you, my love. 
Wow, four of pentacles in reverse. Okay, Aries. Okay, so there may be a lot of things happening right now that may be throwing your energy a little bit off. It could be a lot of planning, a lot of um, intensity, just intense energy, a lot of work, 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 work. So you may feel a little bit ungrounded. It's almost like you're running, 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 and you haven't had time to like relax and take a break. For some of you, I feel like this is related to work. For some of you, it may be spiritual, okay? You may be dealing with something spiritual where your 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 um your energy just feels like it's buzzing all the time to the point where you're exhausted. Okay, so be mindful of that spirit is asking you here to work on grounding yourself. Uh for some of you working with plants, working with herbs, for some of you it's just a need to rest. Oh my God, yes, too much work, need a vacation. Girl, you and me both, vacation time. So Spirit is letting you know, take a break, take some time to relax and get your energy aligned, okay? You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta work, but make time for play as well, okay? Make time for play, don't forget, okay? Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Irene, yes, for some of you, ooh, I feel you by a nice waterfall, nice river, the beach, definitely needing some peace and quiet here, okay? I feel for some of you, this uh, resting, this taking time off, this connecting with water element is going to assist you in bringing you a lot of peace, a lot of ideas that are going to bring a lot of abundance to you. I am loving this energy. Look at this. Look at this. This is all goodies, goodies, goodies. This is abundance. This is everything that you need here. This represents prosperity and happiness. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. And I kind of feel like this is you mothering yourself and tending to yourself and making sure that you take time to relax. Yes, I love this. Please, Aries. Yes, beach day. <laughs> Please, Aries, take a break relax and let that peace energy flow i love you aries all right moving on to the next taurus let's see what's going on with taurus this week Ooh, taurus some of you are just like i am not playing i'm about my business i'm cutting people off and cutting things away. This energy feels good. This feels good right here. Okay. Some of you may receive some information. Um, some sort of communication. That's also going to make you react in this manner. Um, uh, be mindful of rumors. You know, don't feed into that too much. Make sure you're mindful of what you're saying. And who you're saying it to, Taurus. Keep things a little bit to yourself, Taurus. Just a little bit. Okay. Because this issue that may come up, this you distancing yourself from others or you cutting people off could be because of gossip. So be mindful of that. For some of you, I just feel like it's cutting away things that are holding you back. For some of you, it's just bad habits. It's just really working on releasing the bad habits that have you feeling kind of stuck and stagnant, Taurus. Okay? Really, really working through that energy. Um, really working on your perception as well. I feel like some of you is just the perception you have. There's a perception that you have about doing certain things. Um, and that's going to shift and you're going to work on that to kind of help you move forward. It's kind of like changing, uh, the way you view things in order, uh, to do something different. Okay. Let's see what you got from the goddess guidance deck. Hey, bodies of water, Sulis, a lot of water energy. Spend time near water, such as lake, river, ocean, to recharge your batteries. I feel like some of you really, really, really um have been dealing with a lot of um, let's say like you know heavy thoughts. Also, a lot of uh socializing. A lot of like I said, I feel like it's a lot of talking happening around you. A lot of he said, she said. In the beginning of the video, uh, I spoke about the meditation, and it was about uh heavy thoughts and releasing. So I feel like this is kind of connected with you, Taurus. Okay, uh, be mindful of not feeding too much into other people's 
um, judgments or criticism, but at the same time, self-analyzing, okay? For some of you, it's connecting to the water to re-energize. Maybe a nice bath can help, a nice salt bath um, can help. I feel like there's healing that needs to take place from some information that you may receive that that's really going to affect you and make you distance yourself from others. So maybe there will be a healing process. So definitely connect with the water for your healing Taurus. Okay. Yes. Heavy thoughts, big time. Yes. And working through that crown en energy and working through those thoughts is very, very important. If you need any tips, anyone on meditation, hit me up in my DM. Okay. That was from my Tauruses. Sending much love to you guys. Now we're going to move on to Gemini. Let's see what's happening with Gemini. Whoa, Gemini. Hmm. I feel like some of you <laughs> need to work on something pertaining to your inner child. I feel like here I'm getting an intense emotions, intense energy. Um, be mindful, especially of um, energies, uh, or feelings, emotions, uh, of anger or resentment. Okay. I feel like some of you have to, um, really connect to your inner child, go to your past, revisit memories. Some of them may be good. Some of them may be painful, but either way you have to go there and visit this energy, these memories, because it's going to help you move forward. Right now you're in reverse Gemini and you can see the 1111 is a twin energy here. Um, but I'm getting this energy of, of you as a child, tending to your inner child, healing certain things from your childhood and releasing things from your childhood. Okay, things that haven't been worked on, things that you haven't addressed, things that you haven't talked about with your family members. It's definitely time to start working on that to help you move forward, okay? Um, really, really work on... Uh, for some of you, I'm getting the need to release some of this energy physically, okay? So maybe going to the gym, maybe working out. You know, whatever feels good to you, but definitely movement of the body, okay? Definitely movement of the body. Hello, Divine Lady. All right, let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Ah, transformation. This is beautiful, beautiful energy to have, uh, Gemini. If you work through this, this is going to bring a lot of transformation into your life, okay? You got the butterfly made in here and the message is you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings so you're working through this energy you're really releasing you're really letting go you really you know allowing you to revisit uh allowing yourself to revisit those that past those feelings those emotions you know it's really gonna help you it's going to bring a lot of transformation it's gonna assist you in moving forward and bring a lot of blessings into your life because right now you're feeling a little stuck gemini a little stuck uh, but nonetheless this is great energy to show up in your card spirit wants you to work 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 revisit the past um Please remember the good memories as well. Don't just focus on the bad. Just, you know, focus on the good as well. Okay, Gemini? Sending you much love to my Geminis. And next, we're moving on to my Cancers. Let's see what's happening with Cancer. Cancer, you may be dealing with a lot of heavy emotions right now. Okay, you got the Three of Swords. I'm picking up... Uh, uh, a lot of heaviness in your heart space at the moment, Cancer. Um, this could be emotions that have been there for a long time that are, it's getting to a point where it's just like, oh, this is too much. I can't handle it. Okay. Spirit is asking you to work through this mind, body, and soul. Okay. Um, some of you may be thinking, thinking, thinking so much about these emotions and these feelings, but it's more like you, it, you're not letting it out. It's just like, just heavy there. Just a lot of heaviness. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it's kind of like, I don't want people to know how I'm feeling. I'm not willing to share this because 
I have I have to be strong, you know, you have to have the strong heart, you have to be the strong woman or the strong man, and you just can't express this. But spirit is asking you to it's time to address that issue of the heart okay for some of you it could be anxiety for some of you it can feel heavy at times like you pressure in your chest for some of you maybe any respiratory issues at the moment okay be mindful of that spirit wants you to work through that okay work through that if you need any heart chakra healing tips please message me in my dm i'll be gladly to share that information okay let's see what you got from the goddess guidance deck Whoa, Aphrodite. Look at this green here. Definitely an energy of um, heart chakra here. Um, and the message here is to attend to your inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. And I feel like uh, this is similar to the energy before where um, you have to mother yourself. You have to tend to yourself. You have to love yourself to work through this heart chakra energy here okay i feel like for a lot of you this heart brokenness or disappointment may be about yourself maybe decisions that you have made um you can't change the past okay it's just movement forward from now on okay movement forward you can't change the past you can use it use those experiences Okay, use that wisdom, that knowledge that you've gained, but you can't change it. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know, work on you. Work on you, love on you, tend to you right now. Okay, and this is going to awaken your inner goddess. It's going to help you step into your power, okay? Um, I also feel like it says through dance here, and she and, and, and I, I am getting dance vibes here. Um... That's going to help you release some of what you're feeling. For some of you, you have a connection to music. Um, listen to your music. Dance to your music. Um, it's definitely going to shift your mood and your energy, Cancer. Sending my Cancers a lot of, lot of love. Okay? You guys got this. You got this. Dance, Cancer. Dance. That's right, Empress Mars. Moving on to my other fire babies. Let's go, Leo. What's happening with you guys this week? Let's see. Let's see. This is what came up during my meditation, guys. This is what came up. Okay, Leo. This is whew, just a lot. This is heavy. This is heavy energy I'm picking up. A lot of thoughts, a lot of overthinking, a lot of heaviness. Um, Good night, Serenity Helper. For some of you, it may be just, just say, it's sad thoughts, heavy thoughts, okay? Heavy thoughts. Um, wow. To the point where it's making you feel like it's making you feel very sad, very emotional. Just, it's just a lot. Oh gosh, I feel like crying. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Okay, this is a lot. This is a lot, Leo. This is a lot. This is heavy. Hello. This is heavy, Leo. And I just want to love you up right now. I just want to love you up. Um, make sure. Make sure you work on your crown chakra, Leo. Make sure you work on that. Okay. Make sure that you do meditate. I'm getting for some of you to definitely drink some teas, you know, cardamom, chamomile, cinnamon. Work with those herbs to assist you in getting through this, okay? Whoo! Leos, go out in the sun. I know it's hard for, for some of us over here in, in, in the cold, cold places. But if you can get some sun, get some yellows in your life, you know, just please, please, please work on this energy. Sending you a lot of love. If you guys need me, Leos, I'm here. I'm here. But this energy feels very, very heavy. Um, very sad. Very sad. Um, you guys may be dealing with a lot of unexpected heavy situations um and it's it's making you reflect it's kind of 
really shaking your foundation right now, especially when it comes to your mental space, okay? Um, let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Wow, look at this. Look at this. I, you know, I'm just getting those fire herbs, those fire herbs, that fire energy. Um, <sighs> this is all about divine passion and being honest with yourself and what's your heart true desire. And I feel like with this heart's true desire, I feel like this is just love that you have for people. You know, I feel like it's about your heart space as well. There's a lot going on in your cabeza, you know. But I feel like this is you needing to work on your heart space as well. I'm getting heart's desire, but I'm getting hearts. I'm not getting so much as energy as, oh, I need to do this or I want to do this. It's not that. I feel like it's your desire to love people, but you struggle with that desire to show love to people or to allow yourself to be loved. Um, or you just may be dealing with, you know, just your love for people and like losing it or they losing the love they have for you or you feeling like there's a disconnect there with the heart space or this love energy. Almost feeling like you love people, but do I get the love back? You know, it's that kind of energy. So please, 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 if you have any... Oh, I feel this so bad in my chest. If you guys have any questions about that, about your heart space and heart chakras, um, please, please, please message me in my DM, okay? Message me in my DM. I am willing to share any information that you need. This is so sad. I feel like crying, but I, I need to move on. I, sending you... Leo's a lot of love, a lot of love, sending you so much love. Um, and like I said, if you need me, DM me, please. All right. Moving on to Virgo. Hmm. Virgo. Woo, that was intense. Virgo, let's see what's happening with you this week. I love you too. <laughs> Virgo. Wow. Did you guys feel this full moon energy? Did you guys feel this? Because this was a lot. <laughs> I feel like for some of my Virgos, you may have got some things off your chest. You may have um released certain things. You may have really worked on healing, okay, with this energy. You got the Ten of Cups here. This is stepping into a new cycle, moving out of an old cycle. So you may be making some changes, Virgo. Yes, Sophia says she did. Yes. All right, Virgo. I am loving this energy. Virgo is Earth. You guys are natural healers, have natural healing abilities. So, you know, glad to see you using them on yourself. <laughs> I love to see you guys using it on yourself. And this is the thing with Earth signs. We always willing to do for others, not for ourselves. So glad to see you guys are making these changes. Glad to see that you guys are loving on yourself and tending to yourself and healing yourself and taking the time necessary to re-energize and recover. I love it. I love it. Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Oh, I love this card. I love this card, Sacred Space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. I feel like some of you, with the changes you will be making, you will be feeling it spiritually. You'll be feeling the shift spiritually. I love it. I love it. Okay. I love this energy. Ah, hey, I'm matching with the card today. <laughs> I love it, okay? For some of you, there's going to be the need to step more into your spirituality. It's going to be undeniable. It's going to be this magnetic force that is just going to move you in that direction. For some of you, you may go somewhere. You may meet someone where they're going to definitely influence you spiritually, where you're going to uh, have a shift when it comes to your connection with the spirit realm. I love it. Guys, pay attention. I feel like you may be dealing... Pay attention if you're experiencing this. Uh, a blurred vision. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of stuff right here. Blurred vision. 
um, migraines, headaches, dizziness. Pay attention to that, okay? Um, I feel like there's a lot of third eye energy shifting happening here, okay? Sending love to you, Virgos. I love this shift. I love it. I love it. Send them my love to you. All right, moving on to Libras. <clears throat> oh, let me get some water. Let's see what's happening with my Libras. Whoa, Libras. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So much, so many distractions here. So many distractions taking place. Um, There may be some things popping up, okay, unexpectedly here. Um, I definitely feel like this is not you, though. This is not you. I feel like it's outside forces. I feel like it's people around you. Um, and I feel like you, you want to do something. You really want to do something. You really want to make a change. And it's like these energies are like being a little bit resistant. I was, let me throw a wrench here. Let me put a bump here. Let me just drop a bomb over there. It's almost like these things will come up to try to distract you, but stay focused, align your energy, and stay focused on what it is that you need to do for self, okay? Really, really, really work on focusing and, you know, eagle eye vision here, eagle eye vision. A lot of things will try to detour, you know, but no, you gotta stay on track here, Libra. You have to stay on track. Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Leap of faith. There you go. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. I feel like some of you, what it, what, there's a thing here that you really, really, try, you really, 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 really want to do. You're really trying to do. There's a goal that you want to reach. There's a thing you need to obtain. You know, there's a target that you need to make. Okay. This is it, Libra. I'm feeling it. And it's almost like you have these energies trying to work against you, trying to see, you know. I feel like for some of my Libras, it's you questioning yourself. Like, mm, I don't know if I could do this. It's like I want to do it, but I don't know if I could do it. So you may be distracting yourself or you might be allowing yourself to get distracted, Libra. But Spirit here is saying, mm -mm, stay focused. You want this, you can get this, but stay focused, okay? Look at this. Look at this. She is leaping out into the heavens. No worries because she knows that the universe has her. Okay? She knows. Get it, Libra. Come on. Get it. Sending my Libras a lot of love. You got this. Stay focused. Stay focused. Okay? Moving on to Scorpio. Let's see what's happening with my Scorpios. All right. Scorpio, I love this energy. I feel like some of you are maybe starting to step into this energy of, okay, I'm out and about. Okay, I'm out and about. I'm about my business. You know, it's time for me to come out and work. Work, 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 work. <laughs> okay, some of you are ready to come out and work. Some of you are going to socialize. Some of you are going to network. Some of you are serious about getting your gifts out there okay i feel like this is good energy okay this is good energy i feel like some of you are um going to be more balanced with your energy where you may be ready to come out more to do things more to socialize more okay i really like this energy i feel like for some of you it's it's more of some of you may be social already. It's more of, of speaking out, connecting like on a deeper level with people. I feel like there's going to be a shift for some of you there, Scorpio. Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Ooh, so some of you, you got Isis past life. This situation involves your past life memories. I feel like for some of you, for some of my Scorpios, I feel like it's just you you've had a hard time you know in the past with people you know and and it's just like i don't know if i want to share i don't know if i want to trust i don't know but this is old this goes way back you know to your childhood 
you know these are things that you have to work through because you're creating a blockage for yourself here scorpio um it's almost like you just don't trust people you're at a point right now in your life where you don't trust people you don't trust anybody and 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 this is not you know this is not good you know use discernment of course you know, use your intuition when you're working with people, when you're talking to people. Feel their energy out, but don't shut yourself in. Don't, because this is this is hindering your, your flow, your abundance, the things that are coming your way. Okay, Scorpio? Um, but definitely work through that energy and get out there. Trust a little bit. You know, come out the cave. All right, Scorpio, send in my Scorpios. A lot, a lot of love. The water babies. All right, moving on to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with my Saggies. Okay, Saggy, what is happening here with this energy? Okay, some of you, some of you are just not happy with work. Some of you are really not happy with where you're at right now. Um, with either job or where you at with your money, okay? Some of you may be feeling like, I just work, 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 but I don't see anything. I don't see the benefits of it. I, it feels like you're working, money comes in, money comes right out, okay? For some of you, it may be that you just, you just not, not where you are meant to be. You're not where you need to be, you know, when it comes to career and doing what it is you truly enjoy, okay? For some of you, I feel like it is uh, working on your finances and, and maybe um, just not being wasteful when it comes uh, managing to managing your money, okay? Um, you know, get what you need, not what you want so much, okay? Try to limit your, you know, work with your spending habits for some of you. For some of you, the energy I got immediately off this card is like, I don't like my job. I don't want to be here. I need something new. I need something different. My time here is done, okay? So for some of you, you may be looking to shift. You may be looking for something new or you just, what you're doing just doesn't resonate with you. Just doesn't resonate with you. So you have to ask yourself, like, am I doing this because it feels secure or because this is what I want to do? Okay. So just think about that. Ask yourself that. Okay. For some of you, it's just management, managing your money. Work on money management. Okay. Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Purification. Yes. It's time for cleansing detox okay your body mind spirit everything everything and i feel like some of you may not be happy at work because you may be in like this toxic environment like you just don't like the environment that you're in right i feel like for some of you is is just like you just absorb so much when you're at work when you're around these people you take on a lot so you have to take the steps necessary to clear for some of you, it's just, it's just your, 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 I feel like your money management issue comes from, a, a, a something, it's a imbalance happening here with your energy. I'm getting a lot of, uh, root chakra energy here from this card, even though it says, you know, it's, it's the rainbow here. So it's screaming, like, alignment, overall alignment of all of your chakras, of your energy, okay? But I feel like definitely cleansing is needed, okay? Cleansing is needed, all right? If you have any questions about any cleansing, especially when working with the root chakra, please DM me. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm gladly, I, I gladly share information, okay? For some of you, it's just like, what you're doing for work just really doesn't resonate with your soul and who you are. And this could be just morally, whatever job you're doing just doesn't feel right, just doesn't feel good to you. So it's time to really start planning for shifts and changes, okay? So start thinking about what direction you want to go in, Sagittarius. Write it down, get to writing, get to planning, okay? Because you, you're dedicated here. Show me that you are dedicated when it comes to work. But it's just, it if it doesn't feel good, you know, it just doesn't, it's, 
time to go. It's time to purify your life. Do what you love, okay? That's for my Saggies. Sending you a lot, a lot of love. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like. All right, moving on to my Capricorns. Let's see what's happening with Capricorn. Capricorn, what is happening here? Huh? This energy, this energy. This is like the stereotype Capricorn energy. Yeah, it's that. It's the, I don't care. Um, It's all about me, me, me. I need to work, 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 work. It's that energy. What happened here, Capricorn? Okay. What's happening here, Capricorn? It's just like, I'm shutting down. I don't have time for this. Just, just, whoo, them words. Cut those words. What you're saying. Um, and this is like, like I said, the stereotype of Capricorn. That's that's the energy I'm getting here when it's all about work, about business, uh, where you feed the ego and your materialism, okay? So, Spirit is asking you, it's okay to set boundaries. It's okay to, you know, um, say no to things. It's okay to really dedicate yourself to your work and to your money. But also, it's like, how are you doing it? Are you being cruel to people? Are you being harsh? Are you really cutting people off? Like, are you doing it um, out of ego? Or are you really balanced when, when you're, you know, taking these actions or when you deal with others pertaining to what it is you want to do? You know, how 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 is that coming out? How are you projecting that Capricorn? You know, because we know, okay, fellow Capricorn here, we know you about your business, you know. We know that security is important. Independence is important. But it's almost like there's this energy of fire behind it. Just a little. Just a little. I'm just saying. There's a little bit of fire there. So Spirit is asking you, yeah, tone it down a little bit. Balance yourself a little bit, okay? Don't be so cold and so harsh. Uh, and I feel like for some of you, the people closest to you, people around you are really feeling it. Oh, dear. Really feeling it. Ooh, all right. Let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. There's that fire. <laughs> There's that fire, Bridget. Okay? Don't back down. Okay? Stand up for what you believe is right. And I completely agree. Uh, okay? I agree with what Spirit is saying. But also, you know, I feel like some of you are just fed up. It's like you're just tired and you're just like, you know, just stepping into this energy because you may feel like you're not being heard. You may feel like, um, it's like, I'm tired of this right now. I'm tired of repeating the cycle. I'm tired of going through this over and over again. It's almost at this energy like... I'm done, and the fire is coming out, okay? I feel especially for you, for some of you, it's like you're really passionate about what's happening, the situation that you're in right now, okay? And for some of you, there's a lot of throat chakra stuff happening. I feel like this fiery energy is coming out in your words, okay? When you speak, all right? And be mindful, Capricorn, because, you know... Words are spells. You know that. You know that the energy behind, the intention behind what you're saying is powerful. So keep that in mind, Capricorn. Please work with some water. <laughs> Empress Marcia. It is, yes. Please work with some water here to bring this fire a little down, okay? Um. Hi, my love. Hi, Wish. I miss you. All right, some of this, I usually don't get fire for Capricorn, but this is, whoo, fiery and intense, okay? Um, if I was using the traditional tarot, this would be like, yeah, the devil card. It's in reverse or something like that. Yes. <laughs> love you, Cappies. I love you, but, you know. Add some water to your life right now. Some water to your life. Cool it down. Cool it down. All right. Moving on to Aquarius. Let's see what's happening with Aquarius. Ah, Aquarius, you have the Three of Cups, okay? Woo! Aquarius, what is happening here? For some of you, I'm picking up this energy of like, hmm, 
hmm, I got my number one, I got my number two, okay? This, for some of you, this is an energy of uh, unde being undecided between two people. For some of you, it's not romantic, it's not relationship, it's being undecided about uh, situation A, situation B, or which direction, which path for you to take. But I, my initial, the initial energy I picked up from this card was like this love triangle, this who do I choose, who do I go with, do I stay with both, or something of that nature, okay? I feel like for some of you, it's just like really dating. It's just dating, it's just being free and going out and having fun and, and you know, just things of that nature. But I feel like for some of you, it's like, yeah, I'm undecided here. There's there, there's some indecisiveness here, okay? For some of you, I feel like the situation may be super emotional where you be, may be feeling like you have to choose uh, between one person or the other. Now, th this these two people or these two situations may not always be love-related. It could be family. It could be children. It could be... A lot of things it could even be pertaining to which way you're gonna go when it comes to business but whatever it is is super emotional it's bringing up a lot of emotions for you okay Aquarius let's see what you got from the goddess guidance deck Sarah's body the arts okay express yourself through creative activities I feel like for a lot of you this is bringing up a lot of emotions and um, maybe the need to work through I feel like throat chakra energy even though this is creativity and art I feel for a lot of you is uh, music singing and expressing yourself okay so I feel like some of you are gonna have to work through this throat chakra energy so that you can um, really express how you feel about the situation to all the people involved okay good luck with that my aqua babies yes good luck good luck good luck now last but not least pisces let's see what's happening with my pisces this week pisces whoa 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 pisces for some of you this is huh you may be really 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 oh happy birthday by the way to those pisces that have birthdays this week and i feel like for some of you it's like kind of analyzing you know your life the solar year and like oh uh, i've completed a cycle and just like really going within and analyzing self okay i feel like for some of you there may be a lot of uh, a lot of changes you may you may want to make um a lot of changes but there's um some self analyzation some introspection here that needs to happen definitely some mirror work some shadow work for some of you okay I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling a lot of emotions. You may have, like last week, I'm picking up, like it's been continuous. That's the energy I'm picking up. So you may still be feeling a lot of emotions right now. Um, so just take your time and, and, and feel what you feel, okay? If you need to cry, um, cry. For some of you, I feel like there, there's some tears that need to be shed. Um, and I feel like for some of you, it may be tears of happiness. Uh, for some of you, not so much. Okay, let's see what you got from the Goddess Guidance deck. Ah, Undying Love Isolt. The love that you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. I feel like some of the tears that you may be dealing with is either happiness um, from a lot of love, just looking at your life or looking back and saying, oh, I've had so much you know, amazing people, so many amazing people in my life. I've had so much happy memories, you know, and just things of that nature. I feel like some of you may be suffering looking at your life like, you know, tears of a little bit of suffering, a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of, um, you know, just like feeling like, well, I still don't have this love or I don't have, for some of you, it's just a struggle when it comes to love and relationships. Okay, but Spirit is asking you, for those of you who are having trouble in love relationships, some of you are just like crying and having tears of happiness and stuff like that. But I feel like for some of you that have difficulty with, with relationships, with romance, with uh, keeping a partner or staying in a long partnership, I feel like there's some work here that Spirit is asking you to do. 
um there's some work here and i feel like for some of you there may be something in your mind or something in your head um that clicks okay something that goes off when you are in a connection when you feel super connected it could be fear related but for some of you it may be an imbalance it's something i'm getting a lot of a lot of head i feel a lot of pressure in my head right now like a lot of pressure so i feel like for some of you you may be dealing with something in your head space that may be creating this blockage or or kind of like setting off like an alarm like no 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 stop or go away get away run away for some of you it's like this this oh my gosh i have to run away from this because this is trouble okay so a spirit is asking you to work through that work through that okay really work through that all right i hope this was helpful guys i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you guys um will be here with me next week for our next live if you guys have any any questions um please feel free to hit me up in my dm message me you're welcome and if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, you could do so at www.thedivine3.com. The link is in the bio. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I love you guys. I do, I do, I do, I really do. You're welcome. You're welcome, Georgia Peach. You're welcome, Empress Mars, Mommy's Girls, Tea Bags. You are so welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, pure luxury. Yes. <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all so much. Please feel free to ask questions in the DM. I don't buy it, I promise. Bye, Georgia. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys. And as long as universe allows it, God willing... I will be here with you guys next Monday. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.